Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. I got a show for you all today. Hey look, Weepers. And then there was not Weepers. Oh dear. Hmm, I wonder what's causing all this mess. I'm guessing it's uh, the giant... Oh, well, yeah, I'm playing Chaotic. It's trying to tell me that's going to affect things. It's going to cause Weepers and things like this. But it gives you a nice display of what this puppy can do. Look at this delightful killing death machine thing. It's awesome. I love it. Anyway, let's get Blink ready. We're going to have a guy up ahead, and I'd like to take him out clean and quiet if I can. By the way, quick check. Three bone charms. Stay low, wait for him to pass. Problem solved. That kill is practically given to you. He's not really an issue. Our first stop is to not be seen by the searchlight, but since it's looking that way, we can go ahead and pass by. If you're really desperate, you could try and hide in the trash can from it, but that won't be necessary. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell is to report to the City Watch for immediate questioning. In this time of spiritual crisis, the Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettle until a new High Overseer is chosen. May the High Overseer's spirit fade and merge with the cosmos. Indeed, he's a dead man. That was our doing. Now you can shut the hell up. That out of the way, let's go visit with Slackdaw, shall we? And hey, look, people. Hey, you're just a man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. Is that so? Well then, we should go talk to Mr. Slackjaw, shouldn't we? What a mess, huh? After I... Thank you. Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Okay. These guys are not aggressive, so unless you're just looking for a fight, leave him alone and head on into the distillery. And here's our distillery. More dialogue ahead, so I'm gonna shut up for a moment. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That came with a list of bad stuff. I see. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word, Blake. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that drank that bad elixir. Yeah, poor fools, bad elixir, etc., etc. You might remember that's actually our doing. We're the reason for the bad elixir. We might have taken, done something. The poor fools they're referring to, of course, are, well, guarding our bone charm. Three weepers. They technically can't detect you while the door is shut. It's just hard-coded. But if you, like, hit them or something, then they will start acting like they're detecting you. It's it's a thing. Again, nobody here wants to... F nobody here wants to fight us if we behave. Which I intend to do because, well, there's no reason to make this harder than it has to be. Nothing to be gained. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting a play. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. Now, of course, you know there's a bone charm back there, right outside. We'll be done with that in a second, but first, let's go through here. Into a little secret area we should already... What the fuck are you looking at? Blow off, chopper. Into a secret area we should already know about to get the distillery reserve key. Guess which door that one opens? You guessed it, it opens that door. Pardon me. It opens that door outside that has a bone charm, so that's why we had to come in here first to pick this up so we can, well, get on that shit. While we're here, we might as well collect all the goodies, including the new schematic for it. Well, making incendiary fire arrows, uh, we already have some, but now we can buy them if we feel so inclined. 
Hey, look, a note. There's a safe at the art dealer's place. We'll deal with that later, don't worry. Not right now. But now that we got that key, we can open this door here. Let's, uh, let them deal with that for us, shall we? And they take care of that problem. It's not too hard for them to kill them. They apparently lost a man in the process, but again, it's not so hard for them to take out these guys. If you're going to do it this route, they're probably going to see you. If you really don't want to be seen at all, you should shoot all three of them with a sleep dart through the bars before you open the door, but eh. We got Clockwork Malfunction. What does that one do? Ah, enemy grenades take longer to go off. Okay. Nothing too special to me. Anyway, with that done, we're free to continue onward. Once again, once again we're going to leave all these people alone. There's no reason to pick a fight here. Directly. No reason to pick a direct fight here. That is to say, maybe I want to pick a fight of a different kind. Say, with these weepers in here. Maybe I open this door and get the hell out of Dodge. Let them deal with it for me. Just wait back here, see who wins the fight. We'll clean up the winners if we need to. They really like breathing fire with their whiskey bottles. Again, there's only three Weepers, so these guys should have no problem taking care of it, but as long as they don't see me open the door, they don't care. And it lets me come in here at my leisure and do whatever I want without, well, any real issue. Okay, you need to get out of the door so I can get in there. I said move. Oh, four Weepers, my mistake. Still, they can... Oh, I know the three Weepers, that was one of their guys, they lost the man, okay. In here you get a little more loot. Now, if you were going low chaos, this area would not have weepers in it, and it would therefore be a hell of a lot easier to come in here and get all this. But I'm high chaos, so yeah, weepers, because I poisoned the elixir. With that done, let's go meet with Slackjaw and see why he wanted to see us. I just wanted to get some extra loot, get the bone charm, you know, nothing too special. The hell is he looking at? Not important. Again, I could slice the place up, but I would advise against it. it it's just unnecessary trouble. You're going to get a big fight on your hands. You're probably going to get seen doing it. it. It's not worth the hassle at all. Slackjaw should be next to his distillery, as usual, which puts him right through here. Yep, there he is. Yep, this is still inf uh, infected with the plague, I guess. I never got to clean it out properly. Here's a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the fruit tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it. There ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me, and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. That sounds like a good plan to me. Plus, there's loot and story behind doing this, so we're going to do it anyway. Oh, don't worry. Slackjaw is the non-lethal path for this kill. 
But even if you're not going non-lethal, there's rewards involved in doing at least most of the work for him that he asks you to do. So we're going to, but don't worry, we're still going to be killing the Pendletons. In graphic, horribly painful, violent ways, of course, because I'm a bad person. But first, raise the trap so we don't need. Fair enough. Now, if you're playing High Chaos like I am, an event should occur. There it is. There'll be Weepers out here when you come back out. I'm waiting for that guy to go fight the Weeper. He's, he's taking his sweet-ass time about it. Apparently the Weepers took out all the remaining men here except this guy. Well, that doesn't seem very fair, does it? How come you live and your allies don't? That's not right. Join your friends. The Weepers are easy enough to get around if you don't want to fight them. Which, again, there's no real reason to. They don't have any money, they're just dead people wandering around being zombified. So we're just going to take the upper path and get around them. You know, let Slack John and his men deal with this problem. If there's enough of them alive to deal with this problem after my shenanigans. No matter, let's move on, shall we? Also, there's uh, some food up here if you're really hungry. Why somebody put whale meat up here, I, I don't know. But they did. Indeed. Anyway, I will meet you guys on, well, back at the uh, Bottle Street. You can't fight for shit. And here comes a plague of rats. Again, because we're playing High Chaos, there's a lot more rats and a lot more weepers. Because, well, we're giving the rats plenty of food, I guess. I'm kind of impressed you guys took out everybody. I, I figured at least one of you would die to the rats, but okay. We got another bone charm right up there. How do we get that one? Well, this one's kind of interesting. You're going to need to climb up here. Well, I mean, there's an alternate route, but the one I'm going to show you is to climb up here, climb to here. And, oops, stay down. That's why you got to stay down. That guy right there. There's actually a few people up on this rooftop now that were not here before. And they can do some interesting tricks. Shh. None of that now. That was close. You didn't get a very good look at... Oh. Wait, what? Ammo of this type. Belt pout. I don't... It's... Whatever, I don't care. Strange. I think... I know they drop crossbow bolts at times. Another one right there. Time it right. There, there's three guys that look... Well, let me try and get you a good look at them if I can. There we go. They're wearing funny masks and all that stuff too, and if you know it before, one of those guys used the blink ability that we use, ourselves. We'll learn much more about them later, but needless to say, they are quite dangerous and not to be trifled with. So if you're going to take them, take them fast and hard. Again, belt pouches. I'm guessing it's full of air bullets or something? I guess? Hmm. I feel compelled like I should be able to pick it up, but I can't, and it's making me paranoid. No matter. The last one is right through there. So let's get back up here. We will attack him when the time is right. We want to be patient. There is three, not two, trust me. I know that from experience. See? If you blink through somebody, they get a partial alert from it, but you should be fine if you're quick enough like that. The reason we took the time to kill those guys is A, to raid their supplies, B, to see what the hell they are. Again, we'll see much more of them later. But most importantly... What the? Who the heck? There should only be three of them, not four of them. Oh, I know what that is. I think there's a weeper in here. I think. Have I shown you guys how to beat what happens when you're attacked by a weeper? If not, I'm going to show you. It's actually kind of cool. Well, I could, but it's such an easy... Yeah, maybe later. I can't not take such an easy kill. Anyway... After all that, we get ourselves another Bone Charm. Today we got Whirlwind 1. Faster Sword Swings. If you do a lot of fighting, that can be very good. Since I don't fight, I don't honestly care that much. Anything else I care about? Oh. Doesn't look like it. Okay. With Dodge Men out of the way, we can continue on safely. If you want to go... Ow. If you want to go non-lethal, I'd recommend using sleep bolts on those guys from a distance. They're pretty damn tough if you try and fight them, you know, toe to toe, or try and choke them out. Want to look at some of the things I've found? 
If you remember, we rescued this guy in an earlier mission as well, so let's see if his stock him updated. It did not. So, with nothing new here and nothing I care about here, let's move on. I don't need to buy the elixir formula. I don't plan on using enough elixir during the whole game to ever... Oops. I'm gonna kill myself with this way just by falling like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, we're going back to Dr. Galvani's office, which is the location we were in previously. They do a lot of uh, location repeats in this mission. Like, from the very first assassination. Not sure why. I guess they... Wanted to show off. Well, I get why, actually. I don't disagree with the uh, the reasoning, but I think. Well, I don't know. I'm 50 50 on if I like it or not. Uh, we're playing High Chaos. You can see all the Weepers and the big giant Tower of Death and the message on the machine about how the Overseer is dead and all that shit, right? Hmm. Don't have a key for that apartment yet. Maybe we'll get one later. Anyway, the reason I think they make you redo. Well, they don't make you. The, well, yes, it. God, English. The reason that you redo this level like this, I believe, is to show off how much the world has changed because you're playing high or low chaos. It's very, very... That was close. It's very, very different depending on high or low chaos. As you can see from just the way the world is, you know? There's a lot more weepers, there's a lot more rats around. The world is generally shittier because of my action, the short version. Let me just... Let's get inside before they actually see us. I'm playing a little whiskey today, I know. Being a little less cautious than I normally am, but... Well... I feel a little more action when I detain people. You seem to like that kind of thing. Now we gotta find Slackjaw's missing men. They give you. I said I hate telling you that. He gets paid in booze? That seems like a terrible way to pay your guards. I mean, if they're that hard up for a drink, then, you know. I mean, wouldn't that make them, like, not good guards? You know, because they're drunk all the time, so they're not going to be good at their job, I, I, would, I would think. Anyway. They repopulate this place with new guards and all that stuff at Galvani's place. <coughs> the hell did that guy go? Oh, the rats. I was gonna say, what the hell? Yeah, remember how uh, I went in and I um, opened this door before? Well, the rats are still out. That note is not actually new. We saw it the last time we were here. But again... Somebody restocked all this stuff, even though the doctor doesn't appear to be home yet. I'm amazed he beat those rats. I mean, like, legit, I thought they'd get him for sure. But I guess he beat enough of them that he's not gonna die. To the rats, anyway. Anyway, moving on. I just like doing that. Oh, shit. Forgot about this one. Ow, ow. Go away. Bad, bad. Naughty rats. I might have forgot there was another rat in there. I normally play low chaos myself because it's easier. Oops. Let's see here. Alright, with all that looting done, the rats are taken care of. Everything's looking good. Let's move on upstairs, shall we? We gotta figure out what happened to Slackjaw's man. Well, we're getting quite close now. Looks clear up till here. Let's head on up. I like to approach from this door. I think it has better uh, angling. I like to just preference I sweep this room first and the other rooms in case the guards rotate back where I don't want them to be. Yep. 
of course, 28 7 is the combination for a safe, but that doesn't matter anymore because I'm pretty sure you can't open it on this level. Or maybe you can if you don't open it on the first level, but I've never not opened it the first time I was here. So I'm honestly not even 100% on that. Looking good so far. Some pistol ammo up there if you need it. Yeah, looking good to me still. Oh, shiny stuff. Yeah, see what I mean? It's already cracked open. You can hear a bone charm sizzling nearby. Well, that might be a rune. Oh, it's a rune. I apologize. It's upstairs. We'll deal with that when we leave. Don't worry. We will be picking that up, but not just yet. For now, we're going to do a little bit of light looting. Let me just, uh... Take care of this problem. Problem solved. And suddenly, a giant swimmer rat won't be mauling my face anymore. Happy now. As you can see, even the, the rat infestation is getting so bad because I'm high chaos that they're infesting people's houses. Yeah. It's not looking good for Dunwall these days. Alright, we're done exploring here. I do believe that's everything. Yes, it is. Alright, now up to the third floor. I just wanted to show you each floor, but really the only, really isn't that much to do after the first floor in this place. Because up here you just got like, you know, some rats. Few guards. I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, I know you're here. I apologize. They were, they were going to say, I didn't mean to get seen there. They were, they were going to say, what do you think killed him? And he would have basically been like, probably a, a gang war with another... You know, the other gang, the, uh... Who the hell is the other gang again? <laughs> the Bottle Streets and the... Well, I forget, but... He would say that he was killed uh, over the gang war incident, basically. That's a lot of rats. Let me just wait up here. I'm gonna see if I can get the, uh... Make enough noise to lure a guard in here to fight the rats. You know, let them fight each other. You disappoint me, Wats. Why are you? Why aren't you attacking me? There should be enough here to be to make a plague. Hmm. Strange. How about now? No. Well, my rats seem to have broken. Normally they're very aggressive. Strange. Well, our goal is to reach this guy right here, but I want to take care of these two other fellows first. What's going on? Shit. Going down. Well, that was easy. Oh, I'll find you. That should take care of the problem for me. Ada will dispose of the corpse that saw me, so the other guy can't find the body. And when they're done eating, they should, they should, there we go. A good old rat the sword combo. Technically counts as detection, but again, high chaos one, that's not the, the goal here, is not to be perfectly quiet. Oh, you guys are still hungry, aren't you? Let me help you with that, hold on. First I gotta get this note. Crowley's left message. You guys still hungry? You did a good job on that guard. Let me reward you. Eat up, boys. Go on, eat up. Why are you not eating? I try and give them a gift, and they they turn their nose up. You ungrateful pricks. Eat the damn body. Strange. Whatever. They're just being weird. Anyway, you can get one of five wounds for this whole uh, chapter here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now let's just bring our note back, and we'll be golden. We're done in here. Unless you want to do some more looting, which I'm sure I missed some loot here. Like, oops. Like that, for example. There should be everything now. That I care about, anyway. 
Final check. Any items? Nope. Okay, let's move on. Yep, the key on that dead guy was the building key. So now we gotta bring this note. Right. I won't be catching this rat bastard. <clears throat> now we gotta bring this note back to the guy we. Oops. It's the guy that we started with. Wow, I'm out of practice. So, we're gonna blink around a bit to get around these guards. We'll be going down the main path eventually, but not yet. For now, we just want to go back to Slackjaw. I already cleared out everything dangerous down this some away, so that should make this easy. So let's go pay Slackjaw another visit. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskey? Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. I wish it was that easy for me to get my friends to pay for the booze. Jeez. All the weapons from before are gone now, by the way, as you can see. So yeah, just return the way we came to Slackjaw, and he'll reward us for our trouble of going through and getting that audio tape player thingy off of his uh, dead guy. Slackjaw? Oh, shit, he's out there now. <laughs> Whoops, what I get for not paying attention to my map markers. Apologies again for the delay on this video. I'm just now getting over the holiday crap, and it's still a little chaotic, but we should be back to normal now, in theory. We'll see. By the way, this is why we have an audiograph player here that's empty for this message. Here's the tape. What's this? Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. No time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about Blackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Want to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street game. And you'll never believe who it is either. At first I did. That's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure and... What's that? Hard! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brothel. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Alright, tell me what you gotta buy. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer name of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise. I won't kill him, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Now, that is the non-lethal way to do it. Get the combination for this guy, give it to Slackjaw here, 
and voila, you don't have to kill anybody, everybody's happy. That simple. I'm doing the violent way, I'm gonna kill him. But if you want to go non-lethal, that's how you do it. I'm gonna get that safe combination anyway to show you how, but I won't be using it. I'm actually gonna be putting swords into this, these two guys, because I'm a bad person. Oh, right, to the door. Anyway, this looks like a good place to stop to me. So, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw, he's Corvo, and we'll actually begin on the proper murdering spree at the Golden Cat over there in the next video. We'll also pick up some more bone charms next time, the remaining two. Hopefully I can get them both in one video. So, have a good one, everybody.